we have to expose this for what it is because this is a cancer within so-called conservative movement uh, that we need to put a stop to and we need to do it quickly. State Representative Mano Diala rightly calling out a patently false piece of political advertising being disseminated by a shady political action committee. In his West Side House District, the mailer claims Diala and others voted to increase their legislative pensions. As our own Bill King expertly reported, it not only never happened, it was never even proposed. What it does not do is raise legislative pensions. It never did, that's not in the bill, and it never was, Twitter notwithstanding. And yet forces seeking to unseat Diala and Lacey Hall, along with many other Republican House members who voted to impeach Ken Paxton, are completely comfortable lying to voters in a genuinely despicable fashion. Bill King calls it gutter politics, and I have to agree, Bill. Yeah, you know, this is becoming so common these days. Uh, you know, we saw a bunch of flyers in the mayoral election uh, that were kind of the same thing. In that District G, we saw some flyers going both ways that were just these ridiculous charges. And I don't know why anybody reads this crap that comes in their mail. I swear, I just stack them all up and throw them in the trash these days. Let me tell you what. If you get something in the mail, and especially if it's some outrageous charge like Mono Diala, you know, who's been a little league coach in Spring Branch for decades, committed a crime of increasing his pension, maybe you ought to stop and think, I wonder maybe this is not true, you know, and just throw it in the trash because that's what it is. It's trash. Your take, Charles. Yeah, I mean, I think people need to do their own research on things like this. You get, like Bill says, you get these flyers and you have to know, you have to look into what these people actually did. There's a video right there that clearly, Schofield is clearly explaining that that's not what happened. We know that this is all driven because of the, the Ken Paxton impeachment. So if that's the issue that you take with these people, then use that. Say, say what it is. And so, I mean, we know it, because this is happening across the board with all the folks who voted for impeachment or who were impeachment managers. And so if that's the issue, then use that as the issue. All right, Gary. Yeah, this is not good. This is the circular firing squad. But there are some reliable publications out there, Bill. I know one, that, one called Texas Conservative Review that sometimes you agree with, where we give advice on who to vote for and we tell people why. So that's some you can go to it, you can look at it. We, we mail to Republican primary voters. That being the case, this is ridiculous. I mean, attack these people on their record. You don't think they're conservative enough. That's fine. And, you know, there's going to be <laughs> counter-battery fire coming at these opponents because uh, I hear from talking to the candidates, they've dug up dirt on their opponents. So it'll be back and forth. And uh, in some of these districts where it could be marginal, you end up helping the Democrats. Bill, uh, you, you've kind of been watching this from your perch as an independent. Uh, who, who comes out a winner in this in this Republican Civil War? Nobody. <laughs> I mean, it would you know you would think it would benefit the Democrats, but the Democrats are so bad that it just you know it doesn't do them any good. I mean, I've long said the only thing that the Republicans really have going for them in the state of Texas is how god awful the Democrats are. All right, we're going to leave really it there.